Well, I could tell you about like the, I guess like what I'm most known for with my painting and performance stuff. Uh, I have a character that's like called Fishman. And uh, so I was raised in like a small like fishing village uh, in Wisconsin. And uh, most of my family, they fish. And uh, some of my family members, they hunt. Uh, my dad, he's psychotic, but he's also like really into punk. So when I was growing up, my dad, he would watch all these like punk things and take me to punk concerts. But also my dad, uh, he was mental, you know? He would like throw ketchup at our walls. He would get naked. He would take plants and just throw them across the room. And it was like a violent uh, atmosphere that I was raised in. And it had no boundaries. Uh, my parents, they would, you know, talk to me when they were naked and say crazy stuff to me. And there was like no boundaries at all that I was raised in. So um, my work, I was also raised by these, uh, I guess, I don't know how you call it in Poland, but it's uh, like white trash or like hick or hillbillies. And uh, they were really aggressive and they would fight each other and like knock each other's teeth out. And they would have like, um, bar mugs and smash each other in the face with it and uh, like smoke the tires of the car and uh, when I was a kid they would like hold me over like railings and like tort like not it wasn't like scary it was like normal but like torment like do torture shit but it wasn't like I don't know it wasn't like scary or whatever because it's your uncle you know so the a lot of my characters are like a mixture of like all those uh, elements coming together because uh, a lot of my work is like autobiographical. I don't feel like um, traumatized, you know, because it's just like who you are. Like, I don't feel like, uh, oh, I'm, I'm a victim or anything. It's just like things, like when, you, when I paint, I've been painting for so long that I, when I get bored, that's when my good stuff comes out because I'll just want to make myself laugh. So I'm like more so I like try to like make fun of my past. You know what I mean? Or like I make fun of these people. Like when I paint these like hicks or whatever, it's like I'm like uh, getting revenge on them in, in my little art studio, you know? I'm like, I want to like make them look stupid or whatever in my head. But then I forget that I'm in my studio and that people are actually going to see it. And then it's like when, when, uh, when people see all the works in, um, in, a, in a gallery, it's like someone's, it's like you're jerking off in the locker room and someone kicks the door in and they have to see all of it. You know? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of shit going on in New York. There's, uh, it is like he hell in a way. And we are like bombarded with like tons of craziness constantly, you know? Um, New York, I'm gonna be, like, New York is like horrible for being an artist. Just because um, it's not the 80s anymore. Like in the 80s, New York was like sick. It was so much like more dangerous and punk and like interesting. And now it's like gentrified and there's like uh, rich people and they raise the rent and everyone has to work so much longer. But um, also there's so many artists in the city. There's like thousands of artists there and like only so many galleries to support these like thousands and thousands of artists. Anyways, um, I like Mr. Peanut because he's got that monocle and the top hat. He's like very high end and high class. Shit. It's alright. But uh, he's also a nut, you know? So he's like kind of crazy. But he's also like commercial. So I like the, the mix of like the high end, the low end, the, 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 like, the pedigree and like prestigiousness of it. But it's also like kind of like dark and like nutty and like kind of crazy. So that's why I paint him. Yeah. But I also painted uh, Welcome to Pizza Hut because Katie has a really nice gallery inside. And it's like very, uh, to me, it's like very high class and very, um, you know, it's like very nice inside. So I thought it'd be funny to put Welcome to Pizza Hut because Pizza Hut's a shithole. And I asked Katie if we, could, if we could do that. And she was like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. So I put Welcome to Pizza Hut before you go in. I thought <laughs> it was funny. Yeah. So. Yeah, those, uh, so three of these are Alicia and, uh, and our collaborations. So that one is, uh, that one is, and that one is. So this one I can't really describe because this one's like some crazy Alicia and Huey collaboration where Alicia uh, went way crazy on top. It was a man with, uh, he had a fish on uh, his, both of his arms. 
and he had like a motorcycle helmet on and he was like sitting and I gave this to Alicia and she like completely plastered it with like her psych her psychiatrist notes or like her journal notes or like her random thoughts um, some sort of phobia I don't really know what this is but this one I know what this is this one is Eminem that's Eminem, that's Eminem. Holy shit, I just realized something about this painting that I didn't say. This is a, from Eminem's song called Kim. Yep. It's where he kills uh, his wife. He brings her to, I think he brings her to the woods and kills her in a car trunk or something. But I just realized that Alicia actually put her in the trunk right there. That's hilarious. I just realized that now on video. Um, I don't know why he's so, he's very 90s to me. I'm, I'm like a 90s kid. Uh, I don't think he should be important anymore. I think he's like kind of lame now, but uh, I just like Eminem. I don't know. He's I can relate because uh, we're from the same um, region of the states, and we're both. I feel like uh, during this era, he was very uh, like trashy, like white trash. So uh, I don't know. When I make paintings, I paint them real quick. You know, I, I spend like three hours and I just boom, 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 and I just go to the next one. Boom, boom, boom. You know. So I was, I must have just been listening to Eminem or something. I don't know. All right, so this is uh, Jared from Subway. Yeah. He's like an American, uh, like food mascot, but he got in trouble with uh, the the law because he molested a child, or I guess he had like child pornography on his computer. Uh, basically, I, I painted these paintings, and then Alicia, uh, she painted on top of them. Mm -hmm. So there's like just a ton of stuff going on and um, Alicia kind of works a lot different than me. She paints like her, I don't even know how to, how to just, I don't want to speak for her I guess. But uh, this was, I don't know why, but this is Donald was Donald Trump, but Alicia turned it into Kanye West. But it doesn't look like Kanye, I don't know. Um, this was Mini Me. But then Alicia turned it about her psychiatrist. She turned, <laughs> like, I don't know, like, we just kept, like, working on it and working on it and it just kept morphing into, like, this, like, bullshit thing that doesn't, like, make sense, but it makes sense somehow. Uh, uh, what else is going on? That's supposed to be, like, Tinkerbell, but Alicia made her have her period. Um, actually, this was, like, ten, there's, like, ten paintings under there. Uh, I can't really see it, but um, that thing that looks like a house, at first it was a skateboard ramp. Um, I painted over this painting like 10 times because I wasn't happy with it. And then I gave it to Alicia and she painted on it like four times. And then it just ended up, I think we both got so sick of it and that it just like, we worked on it so hard that we just were like, all right, let's just, let's just let it die or whatever. Let's just let it rest, you know?